Hi, this is Tally reporting to you from the 2009 Intersolar Conference in San Francisco, and I'm here with Inigo from Fluitech, uh, and he's here to talk to us about his company. So, Inigo, can you tell us a little bit about your company and what it is that you uh, manufacture? Okay, uh, Fluitechnic, actually. Um, it's a company uh, out of Spain, Pamplona. Uh, we manufacture, we have several divisions. Uh, one of them is just plainly industrial, but the two that interest you more are the solar. We manufacture, we assemble solar panels. We also manufacture component parts for wind turbines, especially all the hydraulics, all the cooling systems and greasing systems. So, and we have, uh, we are headquartered in Pamplona, as I mentioned, but we have also um, offices or factories in different areas of the world, such as Portugal. We have a factory uh, where we manufacture the sonar panels, as well as in the Dominican Republic. And for the wind uh, division, we have a couple of factories in Spain and another one in Tianjin, China. Uh, we have logistics offices in Chicago and the industrial division has offices as well in Mexico and in different areas of Spain. Great. And um, who do you sell to? Uh, who do we sell to? We sell, that depends. Uh, we have different uh, segments. Uh, we sell to uh, distributors, we sell to uh, manufacturers. In the, can uh, in the uh, wind turbine uh, area, we sell to uh, turbine manufacturers. Some of the largest manufacturers in the world are our clients. In the uh, solar area, we sell to um, distributors, we sell to utilities, uh, we sell to installers. That depends on the market and depends on um, how it is organized internally and you know that will depend on the country. And in the uh, industrial side, we sell to different industries. Uh, Volkswagen is one of them, but we have plenty of small scale Spanish manufacturers that also use our services. Well, um, now I see you have a solar panel here that you manufacture. Can you talk a little bit about it? Uh, sure. What do you want to know about it? Uh, maybe uh, the construction? Okay. Uh, we buy pretty much uh, all the... Um, Everything that we need to build this, uh, actually we use U.S. machinery to build them, both our factories in the Dominican Republic and in Portugal. Uh, we follow exactly the same procedures in both factories, uh, so they are, they are not identical. The one in Portugal is larger than the one in the Dominican Republic, but they follow exactly the same procedures and they, they would be identical. The one line in the Dominican Republic and the two lines in in Portugal and uh, it's a process uh, where quality and quality check is the most important part for us from the receiving of uh, our supplies to the final testing of our product and um, that's pretty much what I can say we use good uh, providers of all kinds of uh, parts mm, some of them are North American some of them are Europeans and some of them are from Taiwan as well Okay, so you do monocrystalline or polycrystalline? We do both. We do them both. Uh, we do them both in both sizes. We have a 60 cell and we have a 70 cell and we do them both for both sizes. Okay, great. Now you said that your uh, solar panels are actually manufactured in the Dominican Republic and in... And in Portugal. Okay, what, what is actually manufactured in the United States? Actually, we don't manufacture anything in the United States currently. In the United States, we have an office that is logistics and commercial. We are serving, servicing and we are doing customer care for our WIN clients. And uh, we are just starting, as we speak, with the solar. Uh, we think that it's a good opportunity right now to come to the United States, see how the market uh, goes ahead. And um, we are trying to leverage into, uh, into our current uh, offices. Eventually, we might consider assembling or manufacturing in the United States. It's actually part of the business plan. But uh, that was, the business plan was developed before the crisis struck all of us. And uh, we are being a little bit cautious, but it's in the plans. Great. Um, now, we were talking a little bit earlier about the sustainability of the actual company, and you were telling us about, you know, the windows, to, big windows to reduce uh, the amount of electricity used. So can you talk about that more? Sure. Uh, actually, in, uh, in Spain itself, uh, at home, you have to divide your uh, garbage in seven different containers. So batteries have to go one way, and uh, biological garbage have to go somewhere, uh, somewhere else, paper. So I think that has, that has trickled down to all kinds and aspects of the economy. For example, in our case, uh, we have a project where we are going to put all our roofs with solar panels. It's not happening now because fortunately uh, we need our oil capacity for our clients, but eventually that will happen. Also,
also uh, some of our newest facilities have big patios, meaning that uh, we get a lot of daylight inside our offices, so we have to use less uh, artificial light and less cooling systems, uh, so the AC has to be lower as well because of all the internal air that circulates. So those are just a few things that we do, and we do them, I think, them mostly because it's more convenient, it's more comfortable to work like that, but it does definitely have a big impact in the, in the environment as well, so yeah. Great, and can you talk a little bit about the employee treatment at your factories? Well, um, as I mentioned before, uh, we don't really regard that as anything special because we are trying to apply as far as we can Spanish policies, which are regular European policies, all across the board. Perhaps what might be a little bit uh, not peculiar, but um, more interesting is that we actually try to apply the same philosophy in the Dominican Republic, in China. So we apply the same rules, of course, adjusted to the local laws and local ways of doing business. But, uh, you know, uh, we are going for equal pay, we are going for vacation as it is uh, typical, we are uh, trying to provide with health insurance uh, to all our employees. You know, all, the, all this uh, type of uh, things that for us are not because it's normal in Spain. That's great. Um, and if I was um, a professional and I wanted to get your product for a customer of mine, where would I go? Well, uh, if you are in the United States, well, wherever you are, you know, uh, it's not a very large organization. We are a medium-sized company, so uh, information flows very well. Where would you go? You would go to our website, www.fluidtechnic.com. Uh, you can contact us in Chicago, and uh, if I cannot answer your question or serve you, I will send information to somebody that would. That would be the way to do it. That's great. Well, Inigo, thank you so much for taking, taking the time to talk to me. It's thank a you pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. This is Tali reporting to you from the 2009 uh, Inner Solar Conference in San Francisco. Thank you.